Hello there. If you've been keeping abreast of the weather conditions across the world, you may well have heard about the exceptional rainfall we've seen so far this week across parts of southern Australia up towards the Northern Territories. A real deluge under this band of cloud here has given some places almost half their yearly rainfall already in the space of two or three days. And unfortunately, this band of cloud is a weather system stretching right the way from, well, parts of the Northern Territories through the interior towards the South and East, and it's going nowhere. And that's the problem we're pulling a lot of moisture off the surrounding warm oceans and that's just feeding more rain into southern and eastern areas and up towards the northern territories and we're talking another 100 to 200 millimeters of rain that could fall during the course of thursday to sunday before it starts to ease away and in some places across parts of New South Wales and Australian Capital Territory, those areas we're watching in particular at the moment, we could see 300 millimetres of rain, which would be about half the yearly fall of rainfall in these places. And it has been as well on top of a very cool summer. So Sydney, Canberra, Ivanhoe, those sort of areas at risk of some very exceptional rainfall amounts. This could be the most significant rainfall event for several decades, such as its intensity. And of course, all the waterways are already full and we We've got further rain to come so expect further flash flooding and also the work, rain will work its way into those waterways as well so as you can imagine the warnings are out widely across many southern and central and northern parts of Australia but as I say we are watching some of that really intense rain across southern areas at the moment but the problem does stretch its way right the way up to the northern territory some very wet weather for example around Alice Springs so as I say the warnings are out quite widely because of the intensity of the rains the potential flooding risk further flooding risk I should say on top of what we've already seen with another 300 millimeters of rain possible that's record breaking for some areas and some of the river levels, particularly the Nepi and Hawkesbury, for example, on River Flood Watch. And people are advised to take precautionary me measures because of this exceptional rainfall event that we're witnessing at the moment. And as ever, there is plenty more weather information across our website.